Hi everybody, I'm Joel Cohen. Um, I am the owner of the famous Port Hole Inn in Unionville, Indiana. And uh, I want to take a minute here and tell you a little bit about the history of this incredible place. Uh, we're very blessed, my wife and I, Dina, to be the owners. Uh, the porthole goes back into the 1920s. Uh, this place has survived some world wars. It's survived the Vietnam War. Uh, it's actually been around for a long time. It started out as an old brothel. Uh, and from there, it actually went into the John Dillinger days. John Dillinger and his gang actually used to hide prohibition whiskey down in the basement. When this place had a basement, they used to shoot practice gun shooting in the back of this building. A uh, lot of history to this place. Uh, from there, it's always been a bar, and it's always been a music scene. So people used to come from all over the place, and this is how we got the name Roadhouse. So this is actually an authentic roadhouse, and there's probably like 10 of these left in the whole state of Indiana. And this one sits on beautiful Lake Lemon, but it was here way before Lake Lemon. So the history goes on. During the wars, it sat empty. Finally, it was bought back into the 40s by the Inman family, and it was actually an Italian, Italian villa called Nick and Rosie's Italian Villa, where the music scene started back up, and we had some famous people that started here. One would be Bobby Helms. So Bobby Helms used to come here before he became world famous Bobby Helms, and that's why his picture's on the wall. Uh, Butch Robinson, Woody Houston. Uh, this is before the portable, really back in the day, there was nothing but, there was no rock and roll. Rock and roll was actually becoming something new. It really didn't get started until the 50s. So in the 30s and 40s, it was pretty much all country. So this was a country bar that had a lot of famous country people that came through here, played here. Some people became famous. Then from there, rock and roll moved on. We had a lot of bands come through here. So many great people have come through here, paved the way for a lot of other musicians. So that's why the history of this place is so important. Uh, John Mellencamp used to play here a lot from Seymour because before he became world famous John Mellencamp. Uh, obviously he doesn't play here anymore. But we've had so many musicians come through here. In 1953 the lake was developed and Lake Lemon and the Portville became one. And Tom Lemon, the mayor, flooded this and Lake Lemon became the main water supply for Bloomington. The Porthole moved on and then in 1957 it was bought by Leon Benson and John Hayes and it actually became the Porthole Inn. Uh, and it has actually stayed here since 1957 and it's had several different owners. Richard and Karen Holcraft owned it for 27 years. Then Tom and Rob Sands owned it and actually the Sands brothers still have a little bit of interest in it with me and Dina. And from here it is now a restaurant music venue. And basically the Porthole Inn has survived so many tragedies. It burned down in 2008, it was arson. And here we are out here today out in the parking lot having a blast with everybody. And the music scene is gonna continue even through this pandemic. So, a little bit of history about a famous place that's in Southern Indiana. This is by far Southern Indiana's oldest live music venue. And we're all proud of it. And so many great people play here. And I'm hoping that so many people for the, even after I'm gone, this place continues and so many great musicians play on. So come on out, Unionville, Indiana, South Shore Drive. Uh, we have great food, we're known for our food, and we're known for our live music. So I hope to see everybody. If you haven't come out, I hope I get to meet you one day. Thank you again, Joel Cohen.